Hi guys, I want to try to explain to you a little bit about the first hand rule, because I usually find that if people can understand that one and kind of see what they have to be doing with their hands when they're trying to do it, uh, that they can actually do the other ones usually a bit better. So what I've done is I've put down some pieces of paper here on the floor, and I've got them pointing all in the same direction. So I want you to imagine that these are compasses, and that this direction is going north. Now, I'm going to be the piece of wire. And I want you to imagine electron flow current going up through my body. So from my toes up towards the ceiling, up through my head. And we have to try to figure out, using the hand rule, what would happen to these compasses. Because around the current carrying wire, there's going to be a magnetic field. So which direction are these compasses going to spin? One of them is already maybe pointing in the right direction. So we'll have to see which one. So imagine me standing here. And remember, the current is going up through my body and out my head. Now you've got to take your left hand, because your left hand is the one that you use for electron flow. Your thumb points in the direction of the current, which is up. Now imagine grabbing me around the waist. There's only one way that you're going to do that with your hand. You're not going to try to bend your hand backwards or something. You're going to take your hand and cup it and bend your hand around my waist. Means that your hand is going to come around this way, right? You're going to reach around me coming in from this side and wrap around your fingers that way. Now, that means that this compass should be pointing that way. Okay? As you take your hand, you begin going around my body like that, right? Okay? This compass is pointing only in the wrong direction. It's got to be pointing that way. Still cupping around over here. That compass will be pointing that way. Hey! This compass was already pointing in the right direction. Okay? So wrap your fingers around and imagine that current going up around with the compasses then ending up pointing in this direction. Remember that the magnetic field around the current carrying wire doesn't stop at some special point. It's like a continuous circle that goes all the way around. And you have to kind of visualize it that way. Now when you start studying the second and third hand rules, remember that your fingers and thumb might mean different things. Your left hand is always going to be electron flow, your right hand is always going to be conventional though, so that's okay. This can also be electrons, and this can be protons. So keep that in mind while you're playing around with these. Try doing the other ones, see what you can get out of them, and always try to visualize grabbing something, like maybe a pencil or a pen or something like that, and imagine the wires going around and stuff like that and you'll usually have a better time doing it. Okay? So good luck. Send me some emails if you have questions. Bye-bye.